Good all. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use Android Auto on 8-inch uh, AVNT which you can find on HDX and HDK Plus so on it uh, by using the Android phone. So first of all I, all you need to do is you have to turn on the Wi-Fi as well as the Bluetooth on your phone. So I'm just doing it. Then you have to go into all menus on the AVNT then navigate to settings. Click on device connection and from here click on phone projection. All you have to do is then you have to click add new. From here you can see the Kia Motors SSID. All you have to do is you have to search the same SSID on your Bluetooth available list. So I'm just refreshing the list. So as you can see you can find the Kia Motors SSID on the available device section. All you have to do is you have to click the SSID and let it pair. And you have to click pair. So sometimes uh, it will take few seconds to you know uh, get it connect. So all you have to do is you have to hold your patience and wait. Okay, as you can see, my phone supports Android Auto. So the the screen di directly confirms that uh, if you want to use Android Auto, you have to click next and you have to click OK. And we have the icon available on the da da dashboard that is Android Auto. All you have to do is click this, and that's it. The Android Auto can be used on MI devices using the wireless projection. But there is a catch. Initially, when I was trying to connect this Android Auto, uh, I cannot, uh, it was not getting connected. So, what I have done is I have gone to Play Store and searched for an app called Android Auto for phone screens. I have downloaded this app, I have then opened it. Okay, then you have to go into the three parallel lines bar you can see at the top left you have to click that and navigate to settings scroll down till you find uh, the info called version you have to click the version for 10 times to enable the developer settings so when you click for the 10th time there there will be one you know box will be appearing like you need to give access to the developer settings you have to click that okay after that uh, you have to press the three button which you can find on the top right go into developer settings you have to enable this and wireless projections to settings after that go back to your phone go back to your home screen then go into settings then device connection phone projection click add new okay in this case i have done a reset so i'm just pairing it again so i'm just uh, from here you have to go to bluetooth Again, we have to repeat the steps. You have to click the Kia Motors, the accessory which you can find on the AVNT. So after clicking pair, uh, sometimes you need to uh, you know come forward with the pass key. Again, you have to click a pair button. As you can see, it is getting connected to my Android Auto. Again, you have to click next. Okay. All done. So that's it. As you can see, now Android Auto has been activated on my AVNT. So um, it has got a lot of apps which I can use very conveniently. If you have some, you know, music in your phone, you can use, play that using the play music button. Or if you want to access some other cloud-based music like Ghana or, or Spotify whatsoever, you can use the icon. And you can have the news, details, podcast, phone, reminder settings, telegram and weather, whatever, uh, you know, uh, the convenience, convenient feature which you have, your, have on your phone, you can directly use it. So um, also this does support Google Assistant. Like if you want to ask for the weather, all you have to do is press the voice command button or say, okay, Google. So uh, show me the weather. So depending on your network connection, it will respond 
you know, the response might take some time. Currently in Tiruvannantapuram, it's 28 degrees with drizzle. Today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 29 and a low of 26. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 36. Okay, so that's you guys. And if you want to, you know, exit from this uh, wireless projection, all you have to do is click this exit with the Kia logo button so that it will take you to the AVNT dashboard. So one more thing I would like to tell you, I was uh, trying to connect more devices on this uh, wireless projection on, to this AVNT. Uh, what I have found is, I have found some Huawei phones doesn't able to connect. I don't know why it is not able to connect. I have done some hacks also, but it's not working. So that's it from my findings and thank you guys. Have a great day.